What the fuck? Seriously. I mean, this looks like something I would draw by hand. I mean, seriously. Hold on, I'm going to show you what it looks like if I draw something by hand. So, there's the head, the body, legs, then arms. Let's add some hair, eyes, and a mouth. Let's add a gun for extra measures. Alright, so our picture's finished. Let's take a look at it. Boy, that's really horrible. But it fits in with this game, almost. And the game is called The Best Game Ever. And this game was made for Jackson New. A group that's a band and wish they were the Jackson 5. So, let's start from the beginning and take a look at the game. Before you even play the game, the game is already annoying. If you don't have Game Maker, then you have to go ahead and download it to be able to play in this game. Because they don't have an executable file in it so that you can play it on your computer without Game Maker. So then you have to download a small little file and style it. And every time that you want to play the game, you have to boot up Game Maker, which is just annoying. But let's just get into the game. So here's our title screen for Band Massacre, a.k.a. The Greatest Game Ever. And as we can tell, it looks awful. We have, well, everything looks like it's made in paint. Even the words are made in paint. Couldn't you just type it out on some other program? It can't be that hard. The only thing that is typed out is by Aaron Long, because he thinks he's a great game developer, and he wants his name established to this game. Let's just play the game. So we pick D-Guy. D-Guy... Maybe it's supposed to be an A and that's just how he writes it because all these other A's look like that. So we have Justin, Aaron, Jackson, Carly, which probably isn't a guy. And I can also assume she's a girl because she's not in the same row as the guys. Thomas and Yo-Yo Ma. So let's go with Yo-Yo Ma. I, I'm clicking on him. Why is it not working? Okay. So it took 10 clicks for it to finally work and moving around some. And we have a very similar to scene, what we showed at the very beginning of this video. Tons of redheads, and they do no damage to me. And that was a pretty big jump. Yeah. So if you're near any of these guys and jump up them, you can jump up higher than you can originally. So since there's no point in killing them, let's just go to the next level. So, yeah. Oh, and look at me, I'm stuck right now, so... Yeah, that solved the problem of that, so... And I'm stuck again! Oh great, I'm stuck in such a way that even after killing the guy, I can't get out. And I can't shoot anything else around me to solve this problem. And... Is there a menu? Escape? No, that takes me right out into the Game Maker menu. So I have to start all over again because of that stupid... Freaking glitch. I know this game was bad, but getting stuck like that. Whew. Let's go with Thomas this time. So, does he have a chainsaw? Oh, wait, this is a band, so I guess it's a tuba, not a tuba, a trombone. That's just weird. Let's do it again. E yeah. So, jumping near one, I slowly levitate up and down. So what does this character have to shoot? The other one had arrows, so this one has balls. Okay, uh, if this is supposed to involve band members, why don't they just have something else unique? Well, wait, what just happened? Where am I at? Am, wait, did I just fall off the screen? Because I see my balls over here. So, yeah. Apparently my character fell off the screen over here, fell down... And now he's in the abyss again. So we gotta X the program again. Go to Game Maker. And then execute it. And it's going to load. And uh, Well, you all can be happy. You don't have to play this game, right? So that's two people down who screwed up. Let's go with Carly. Is it going to start for Carly? Come on, I'm clicking on you. There we go. Actually, why do I even want to play it? 
So, oh, she apparently shoots balls as well. So, yeah, let's just move on. Go through the door like last time. Shoot some more of these people. And, yeah, 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 I'm not stuck anymore. So, this doesn't seem all that hard. Okay. So, more or less, everyone's dead, and I can just all on my own get up to the top to the next door. All right, we're on stage three right now. At least I don't have to worry about falling off on this one. I can be happy for once. So, can we get over there? Yes. Yay, you won the game. Play the game again as a different band member. Maybe it'll change with each member. Jackson. Come on, there we go. Oh, and he also shoots balls. So that's three people that shoots balls. Only Yo-Yo Ma has actually shot something different than balls. Wait, where am I at? No! No! Oh, God. Why don't they have a barrier up? So let's see. Get the exit out of the game again. Go to the freaking game maker. Start it from there. Wait for it to load to execute. Then wait for it to load in that. And then we get to select our character again. So let's not go with whatever, Jackson. Let's go with Aaron, the blonde one who looks way too happy and probably is gay. So, well, he's shooting something different. What is it? Knives? Maybe tuning forks since this is banned? No, no. Come back, come back. Okay. So, all right. Just have to get over here. I don't know where I'm at in the sky. Okay, shooting down. Come on down anytime now. Wait, where, where am I at now? Am I still up in the sky? Well, I don't see my stuff anymore, so apparently I must have fallen off the screen and died again. So, let's do our favorite of escape. Go here, click on the thing, execute the program. I don't know how anything to say right now. My temple's about to burst out. So, click on Justin. And he apparently has a gun on top of his head. So, is there anything different? No, he just has balls, and they're not even coming out of the top of his head. They're coming out of his chest. So, maybe this time I can actually get through it. So, there we go. Also, I'm noticing that none of these levels are actually changing. They all look the same. The only big difference is maybe one has more redhead geeks than the other one. So, let's get up to the door. Let's come back. There we go. It's so, alright, I can complete the game with two people. Okay. So, yay, I won the game again. Play the game as a different band person. I really don't want to. So, that's every single character right now. There's no different endings. The only thing that's different is the amount of redheads. And they're already dead, I believe. Why is this game? What's the drive for the game? It's so... Awful, and I thought all the other games weren't as bad. I'm changing my mind on Darkness is the worst game I've ever played. <sighs> I'm gonna go outside, swear at the top of my lungs, and I'm gonna play some happy music so you won't hear what I'm saying. Everybody loves donuts. Lord knows I do. And because this game was so horrible, I've decided to create my own crappy little game. It only took me 10 minutes. It's called The Only Option. So let's start the game, shall we? So as we can see, there's nothing around me, but games are nothing like that. So whenever you take a few steps, you're attacked by a horrible indie game. This isn't going to be good, and I must slay this monster. So, as you can see, no matter how many times I will attack this monster, it will never die. No matter how many times I use my Super Omega skill, which, of course, as it says right here, should kill anything. But as you'll notice, it doesn't want to attack me either. So since it's not going to kill me, the only option I have left is to simply shoot myself in the face and kill myself. So, oh, I avoided my attack. How lucky I am. So I'll try to shoot myself in the face again, and I just died. And right there, we finished the game. It's a game over. This game sucks, and it hates you. And also, if you do like this game, it's available to download in the description link. But I can tell you this, 
it's probably better and more well written and thought out than that other game. Have you played a fucking horrible indie game and you like seeing me play it, comment it, and make really horrible jokes on it? Then send a link to snakehukin at gmail.com. And if it's horrible enough, it just might appear on my videos. And if it's fucking horrible, I just might swear a whole lot.